Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for joining. So I'm Shanul Rahman and I'll be your examiner for this as a speaking demo test, okay? So may I know your name? Uh, my name is Mujahidul Islam Bifat. I'm a student uh, of textile engineering. Uh, I'm studying at Bidi May University of Fashion and Technology. Okay, well, that's fine. And uh, do you like your university? Yeah, I do like my university. Uh, it's uh, one of the most famous uh, universities in uh, textile field. And uh, uh, I and many people say that uh, it has a lot of well uh, uh, advanced machineries in, in its lab. So mm -hmm. it's uh, learning from such a university is a very great opportunity for me. Mm -hmm. And I do enjoy a lot. Well, fine. And why did you choose that subject? Well, basically, uh, I didn't uh, actually chose this subject. I was kind of given into it, like pushed into that. Because uh, uh, after uh, my admission test, I didn't uh, uh, did well in my uh, university admission test. So my uncle uh, suggested that it's very much easy to get a job in uh, textile field. So you should go for it. And uh, I just uh, had a conversation with my mom about it. And uh, that's how we decided oh, okay. uh, that. Well, that's fine. And uh, uh, do you like your subject? Yeah, um, initially, although it was uh, pushed into, uh, <laughs> like I was pushed into uh, that subject, but I, I do really enjoy it mm -hmm. because uh, uh, in this subject, I get to uh, work with uh, many uh, hand in hand experiences, like, uh, uh, and uh, it is also uh, very much helpful uh, for me through uh, the learning journey that I am having right now. Okay. It's uh, very much uh, uh, joyful at, as well as. Uh, I guess uh, I should say it's a, co a complex journey. I okay. get to face many challenges and uh, that's okay. about it. Again. And what was the first day like? The first day was usually, uh, uh, as a, you are in a, anyone who is in a new environment would uh, feel a bit hesitate, you know, but uh, not in my case, uh, because I uh, found out that a lot of my university buddies were admitted in the same university mm -hmm. and uh, two of them were uh, in the same class. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first uh, uh, day was really good. The orientation okay. uh, was uh, real, really good. And uh, I did enjoy it a lot because I had, uh, I had to see a lot of familiar faces. Okay, well, and... Uh... What are the, well, uh, if you had the chance, would you change your subject? I, I guess I, uh, at right now, as I'm in uh, third year of my uh, bachelor's in mm -hmm. this subject, so I think it's not a wise decision to change my subject, but okay. yeah, I, uh, if I had the opportunity to, to start from the beginning, I would mm -hmm. definitely like to change my subject because I wanted to study um, animal husbandry, okay. uh, but uh, uh, my uh, CGPA was not that good to not even to yeah, sit in the exam for uh, the uh, Chirakang Animal Husbandry University. So, okay. Yeah, if I had the opportunity, I would do that, okay. but not now. Okay, well, okay. Uh, now let's talk about dreams. Uh, do you generally have dreams when you sleep? Yeah, I do really have dreams, but uh, and uh, I think about dreams is the reflection of our inner mind. Mm -hmm. And one may dream about uh, many uh, bizarre things and one may dream about many interesting things. And uh, it's totally uh, depend upon what you are thinking uh, during the day or what you are really um, doing. Mm -hmm. And the dreams are based on your actions or your thoughts. Okay, and, and do you I think do... it's important for us? Yeah, uh, it's important for us. And if you uh, see the religious aspect of dreams, then 
in Muslim theology, it's say, uh, said that a uh, dream uh, also, yeah, the, you can interpret the dreams and predict the future uh, based on that. Wow. And yeah, that's about it. And uh, there are also uh, some uh, evidences uh, during the Islamic uh, historical period that you mm -hmm. can see. For instance, uh, the uh, founder of Ottoman Empire also, Osman Ghazi had also a similar dream that a okay. big tree just emerged from his body and covered three parts of the world. And uh, uh, eventually the Ottoman Empire also did uh, become the superpower. So it's okay. kind of, yeah, so it's well, kind of interesting. interesting. Okay, okay, thank you. And this is the end of our speaking part one. So now I'm going to share the screen. I hope you have a paper and pencil in front of you. Yes, I do. Okay, so, so here is your QCA topic. I hope you can see it properly. Yes, I can. Okay, so now you have one minute for your preparation. Your time is start now. Uh, if you want, you can take notes, okay? Okay. Okay, well, your time's up. You should start speaking. Um, the luxury item that I want to own uh, in future would be a, a Rolls Royce car. It's uh, basically a car um, um, manufactured by Rolls Royce Automobile Company. Mm -hmm. And I want to uh, own this car because it's kind of like my childhood dream to own such one. And these cars are so expensive, and it's also symbolize uh, the aristocracy and royalty, because uh, the Queen of Britain uh, used to um, own um, such cars, and also the Sultan of Brunei uh, has had right now he has about five hundred cars in his collection. So it's um, really uh, symbolize uh, your wealth mm -hmm. and. That's it. And uh, I don't know if I am ever going to get to buy myself one, but I I do uh, um, desire that one day I should, I would buy myself uh, one. Um, maybe it, it would be a, a regular one or it would be a custom one, but I, I do desire that eventually I, I get to ride myself one. Okay, thank you. Uh, so this is the end of our speaking part two. Now I'm going to uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to ask you some question related to it. Okay, well, sure. so Well, uh, which expensive item would many young people in your country like to buy? Um, in my country, basically the expensive item would be iPhone uh, mo mobile handsets because uh, I don't, uh, nowadays the young generation, uh, they are crazy about it and they, uh, they just, uh, so, uh, I had many of my friends who were gathering their pocket monies and eventually ended up buying them, although it cost a lot of money, but uh, they buy it. Well, and uh, 
how do the expensive items that younger people want to buy differ from those that older people want to buy? Well, uh, there is a huge difference between the, because uh, there is a generation gap and also the older people uh, think about the uh, real aspect or the application of that stuff that they are going to buy, whether it's expensive or not, but the younger generation, they tend to uh, buy it as a, a sign of um, showing wealth and mm -hmm. uh, for instance, I mentioned earlier about the buying iPhone handsets. So uh, they can uh, have a normal regular Android handset and they can do the same regular things with it. Okay. But instead, they're buying the iPhone ones. Whereas um, if, you, if we consider the older people they, uh, for buying expensive items, uh, they really think about the real application of it. And then they tend to buy or they choose to buy it. Okay, well, and uh, uh, do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends or for themselves? Sorry, I didn't get the question. Uh, may okay. I? Uh, do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends or for themselves? Yeah, the, uh, it's actually ba based on the uh, ec uh, economical uh, structure that you are on. Because uh, if you have a lot of money, then you will have uh, you would uh, your surroundings would be also the, uh, those guys who can afford such uh, expensive items. But uh, at the other hand, if you are uh, you know uh, a moderate, uh, you are just uh, making a moderate income then uh, uh, you would uh, not buy it for your uh, friends. Uh, okay. Instead, you would like to buy it for yourself because it's an expensive thing. Okay, and uh, how difficult is it to become rich in today's world? Well, I think, um, for instance, uh, um, not for instance, if you consider uh, the perspective of Bangladesh, it's quite difficult to uh, become rich because if you want to start a business, then there is a lot of hustles that you have to uh, struggle with to start the business and uh, uh, keep it going. Although your um, business is doing well, there are some other, other social and political issues that you have to suffer. Uh, and on the other hand, if you start a business in abroad, then uh, well, you have to just put in the energy and the enthusiasm that you've got. And that would, uh, if the business is making a uh, profit, then there is nothing else that you have to think about. Uh, like there are, uh, nobody's gonna uh, vandalize your uh, business or, or like uh, steal something where uh, these such, such things happen in the uh, third uh, world countries like Bangladesh, India. And uh, so uh, I think that it's very much easy to start a business in abroad and get richer. As, uh... Well, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So this is the end of our speaking test. And uh, you did pretty well, but uh, I was just sad about the cue card part. You just speak for uh, 80 seconds only, 80 seconds. It had to win the Korao Chichila mother, but overall it was a good performance. And I'm going to evaluate Korea Shekhetre. I'm going to vocabulary variation. I'm going to say that 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 थामा दिल्ली समस्या नहीं 
আপনার টার্গেট থাকবে যে আমি 2 মিনিট কথা বলবো আমি যেমন प्रिपरेशन নিয়ে কিভাবে যে হাতে ঘড়ি ধরে 2 মিনিট কথা বলতে হবে এটা দিন সো ওরকম করে प्रिपरेशनটা দিতে হবে एवरीथिंग वाज फाइन ফ্লুয়েন্সি আই হচ্ছে ফ্লুয়েন্সি বেশ ভালো আছে ফ্লুয়েন্সি নিয়ে সমস্যা নেই বাট একটা সাউন্ড আছে যেটা সাউন্ড ওটা একটু কমাই দিতে হবে আপনাদের হ্যাঁ সাউন্ডটা আপনি যখন এটা রেকর্ডিং আমি দিয়ে দিব তখন শুনবেন দেখবেন যে আপনার একটু ফাম্বেলিংটা আছে ওর ভিতরে আর কিকারটা একটু মেইন প্রবলেম যদি এরকম করে আমরা কথা বলতে পারি আপনি যে রকম করে বলছেন আপনার কারেন্ট যেটা আছে এটা 6.5 টু 7 পাওয়ার মতো হ্যাঁ ভালো একটা মার্ক পাওয়ার মতে আছে এটা আপনার মানে 6.5 বা 7 মিস হবে না কখন যখন আপনি একটু ভোকাবুলারি ভেরিয়েশন নিয়ে আসবেন তখন এটা এবভ 7 চলে যাবে আমার যেটা যতটুকু মনে হচ্ছে আর একটু যদি আমি চাচ্ছিলাম যে একটা ভালো স্কোর তোলার যেটাতে আমারে অন্য সাইটগুলোতে ব্যাকআপ দিবে কারণ হচ্ছে যে স্পিকিংটা আমার কাছে মোটামুটি সোজা মনে হয় তো এই ক্ষেত্রে আমি মনে করি যে রাইটিংটা আমার কাছে কঠিন রাইটিংটা তো লিটল বিট হ্যাঁ তো তো এখন যদি আমার এটাতে স্পিকিংটা একটু ভালো হয় জি তাহলে মানে ভালো করার জন্য আর কি সাজেশন বলতে কি থাকবে যে সাজেশন বলতে আমি যেটা বলবো প্রথমত কিউ কার্ডে একটু মনোযোগ দেন কিউ কার্ডটা আপনি হচ্ছে এভরি তো एग्जाम তো দেখছেন যেখানে समस्या कारो शुदू जिस बंधुके गिफ्ट करते चाओ टार्गेटेट करते 